for briefing. A call. Well, Miller could get in here. Ferguson does. Ian Ferguson against the run of play in truth. But Rangers lead. And it's all down to the man who will have a few mark. Five minutes earlier could easily come off. Charlie Miller. Shoot McCall just knocks a ball over the top. Miller's first to react. They get the break of the ball there. Ferguson's the first. They just can't get hold of the ball at all, the home side. And I think that tells you all about how well Celtic have played in the second half. Collins with the cross. ball from John Collins I said he's been having more and more of an influence in this game but look at the way he picks out Bob and this isn't an easy chance and it's a magnificent strike reminiscent of Andre Kinchelskis' goal early in the season at the city ground Nottingham that's a magnificent strike it really is he sets that outside the post and he's got enough bend in it Bob to just curl it past the goalkeeper into the far corner. A goal fully deserved. Well, he scored in the previous fixture between the two sides. He was a loser then. And let's join Nick Collins. Thanks, Martin. I've got Paul Byrne and Richard Goff down here. Let's start with you, Paul. What was that game like to play in? Uh, home firm games are very hard to play in. Um, doesn't matter how many games you're playing, they're always going to be hard. Especially when you haven't played in a couple of weeks, like myself, uh, it's hard to come back in a game like that because you're playing against so many good players. Uh, but enjoy every game. Well, Richard, thanks for joining us. You look as if you're still in a bit of pain. Yeah, I think I've damaged some ribs somewhere along the line just to start the second half and uh, not breathing too well. But uh, I'll go in and see the club doctor see what's wrong. Just briefly, on as even, do you think it was a fair result? I think so. I think uh, scrappy first half and maybe we had the better chances. Uh, but Celtic definitely had more of the ball in the second half and uh, I would say fully deserved the draw. A, a more positive performance in the second half, capped by that goal of yours. A splendid time to score. Yeah, it's always uh, good to score in a home fair match, um, especially Frank Connor. Uh, one of the club coaches is always saying, get, get yourself in the back post and uh, you'll always score goals. I just that tip my mind as I come across us here the first time. As you see, we just went in the corner. A wonderful strike. Drawing too many games has been part of your problem in a way this year, but I suppose you'll be fairly pleased with this one. Yeah, we've drawn a lot of games this season, uh, but you never mind drawing a whole fame game. It's always a bonus if you win. But uh, I think the boys will be quite happy with their performance tonight. Richard, it's now, what, 11 points that Rangers are clear at the top. Is, is this a sign that, that your domination is going to continue? Well, hopefully. We've had a good, uh, we've had a good Christmas period. Uh, we knew we were playing Hibs, Mother All The Way, and then Celtic at home. Um, we managed to pick up... Um, Seven, seven points out of, that, out of the nine, and um, we're quite happy with that. I mean, we're missing uh, quite a lot of players. Actually, we're missing Haitley, McCoist, and um, we're quite happy with the way things have gone. All right, thanks for joining us, a pair of you. Well done. Well played. Thank you. Thank you.